It's that reminds me of like Cinemax, like when you're a kid and you're cruising late at night after your parents go to bed and you turn it on and it's like, it says like violence. You're like, ah, bummer. You like go to Cinemax Plus and it's like a violence and adult situations. You're like, oh, oh yeah, Ooh, this, is the one. this is the one. Crack yep. the Mountain News, boys. We're going, we're staying. This is the one. Back when Game of Thrones would like, you know, when, when, when everyone loved it and it dropped. I just get so excited when there were good, like, six of those deep. Like, you're telling nudity. me there's violence, yeah. nudity, adult situations, and profanity? <laughs> yep. Full yep. house. Get my Bam. root beer, boys. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You have, uh, bad language is the one that is, is lame on there. You can find that everywhere. You're Does right. It, say bad la- it says bad language on it? Come on. That's not- it says, no, it, it, says, uh, it says naughtiness. <laughs> it says profanity. I mean. <laughs> General naughtiness. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't even like thinking about Game of Thrones anymore. I've totally memory hold that shit. Yeah, so, don't I, even, I don't like thinking about it. Um, like like it was. It, 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 it it's so upsetting to think about what happened there. Uh, it's it's like thinking back to like your your team getting to a World Series or a championship and that they lost. Like it's like thinking back. Honestly, it's a little bit like thinking about. Uh, when the Falcons lost to the Patriots, uh, like like four or five years ago, whenever that was in the Super Bowl, when we were ahead by like three or four touchdowns going into halftime, we were in Colorado for that. I, I remember <laughs> Taylor, Taylor was like, "Well, Kyle, congratulations, you guys have done it." Going into halftime, and I was just like, "28 to three. <laughs> I was just like smoking my gigantic bong. I'm like, "No, no, this is the Falcons, <laughs> and that's fucking Tom Brady." <laughs> I remember before the game was even over, Kyle, you were like, they, they weren't even in the lead. Yet. It was like 21 to 28. And you're like, Taylor, cheers. Let's just play magic. It's, it's over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could see the writing on the wall. It was like, it was like, that's fucking Tom Brady. All right. He's got maybe two years left in the, in the NFL, in the um, NFL, in the NFL. He's going to do this. It's what he fucking does. And he's only down by eight. He's that's only two two scores. You just knew he was going to do it. Like yep. we couldn't stop him. You knew we were going to choke. Well, the, I mean, especially the Falcons defense. I think back then wasn't the greatest. <laughs> so it wasn't the worst either. We were in the Super Bowl for a reason. It that's was true. just like, I, you know, and the, the 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 offense was great. They didn't score. I don't even think they scored again. Maybe a field goal or something. It was embarrassing. It was it was real upsetting. But nothing tops Game of Thrones as far as like disappointments um, from a uh, an entertainment property. Like the Matrix comes kind of close, like but but I wasn't nearly as invested because those are movies, you know, it's six or six or seven hours total for the whole trilogy. But you watch the first one, you're like, oh my god, there's so much going on here. And then the second one was bad, and the third one was awful. But with Game of Thrones, what was that? Seven years of our lives or something that we were just obsessed with that show, and like like it was a weekly topic when Game of Thrones was out. Like like we'd we'd come in here and we'd be like, boys, that episode, Jon Snow's back. (laughs) <laughs> John Snow's back. He's gonna be doing big things. Can you believe he's got the sword now? Like, like we're we love that shit. We we do all these we have all these crazy conspiracy theories about like what the White Walkers were about and where they were headed and what they were gonna do and ice dragons and you guys you guys are gonna hate 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 my take. You're gonna hate it. All right, but I I loved it. <laughs> I ate that shit up. The I end loved of the it. series? I, I really did. I love the end of the series. And I'll tell you why. Because the first five to six seasons of the show were very, very slow. They were good episodes of television, but they were very, very slow. That's true. Uh, if, you, if you go back and watch each season, there's only about, there's two to three episodes where things actually develop uh, pretty fast. I used to but say everything that else, too. I, I liked that about it, and I think Kyle yeah, did no, too. Like, I, I really enjoyed the slow burn. I feel like I'm really invested more in the world. Totally. It's what I, made the last two seasons so awful is because it was like time was moving like a week at a time per episode forever. Yeah. It was like every episode a week later, this happened. And then all of a sudden it was like, all right, so six months have passed since the last time we saw you. Like, Whoa, shit. All right. Two more months have passed. It was, everything was like fast forward. They were just trying to get out yeah. of that contract as fast as they fucking could so they could go make Star Wars. That's not true, by the way. They, they, they backed out of Star Wars. Um, but No, they got fired from Star Wars. Uh, no, they, they backed out. I, I mean, <laughs> I just Who went backs re- out of Star Wars? I'm telling you they did. And I, I've actually, a number of people have been backing out of Star Wars because Star Wars is a fucking train wreck. Did they back out of Star Wars before or after Game of Thrones? Because I thought it was after. It was after Game of Thrones. I, well, but and, that's and not the same, right? Because it doesn't invalidate the point. If you say... Also, also they had that contract uh, five years before the show ended. I, I no, did all the research about, yeah. on this. Yeah, I did no. all the research okay. on this because because people well, wait, use no, these. No, that proves Kyle's point. 
that proves Kyle's no, point. I'll no, explain it why. You no, know, because it, they would have gotten out of it way earlier. Then here's the scoop: they wanted to get out of Game of Thrones so they could do it, and then it wasn't until they, they got out of Game of Thrones that they didn't do it. Right. So if they had got out of Star Wars before the show was over, then you'd be right. But because they got out of Star Wars after the show was over, that kind of proves that they were kind of trying to get out of the show to do Star Wars. It wasn't if, until if that, after the show that they did that. If that were true, though, then they would have sped up their time getting out, and they didn't. They spent. They like, did speed years up their time getting out. They absolutely no, well, wrapped no, up. They, no, HBO no, was no, like, no. take several more seasons, and they're like, no, 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 we're going to get out immediately and go do Star Wars. That's well, yeah, that's, that's not. A, that's, that's not what that's they the said. Only, but. That's the only thing I remember about it, and maybe Bruce, you can. Correct me. Like, I, I, that's what pissed me off is like, I remember yeah. seeing the interview of HBO saying like, yeah, we offered them additional episodes, more time to, to really flesh the story out. And DB Weiss and whoever the other guy is, were that'd apparently off, yeah. were like, no, we can wrap it up in, in eight episodes this season or whatever so it was. And it was like, what the fuck? Like, you, we really could have seen more. Six, this, is so, right? this is totally true. That's the interview that I read about uh, how HBO was like, do more. And they're like, we don't want to do more. Um, yeah. and that's reason so, enough to say fuck them in my opinion. Yeah. That, it, it's interesting that you guys, like. what's interesting too, is that people turn on them so fast and they, they wrote, they wrote, what is it? 10 seasons of, of show. No, and a lot they, of people, were like, they didn't write any of it. They, yeah, they, 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 they wrote all of it since the very beginning. Yeah. No, they did. So it, it's, it's my impression yeah, they, that once they, adapted. they stopped adapting to, from a book, <laughs> it got bad, right? When they started doing their own material, in seasons like six, seven, and eight, it got back. And I, I did the research on this. Um, that's George R. R. Martin told them how it was going to end. He told know, them how the whole thing was. But they yeah, didn't have they, a book to base the show on anymore. Right, well, they still stayed, they stayed clear to his vision, though. And it was kind of one of those things where, them? like. Right, but you uh, keep saying we're wrong about things we didn't say. Like, like So what no, happened no, was no. when there was a book to base the shows off of, they did a great idea. They did a great job. And yeah. then once they ran out of book and had to just go off an outline at best, they did a poor job. Uh, I mean, do you? So you're saying the last three seasons? Yes, were bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't. I don't agree. I think it was a real act. downward spiral starting uh, around season half, second half of season five. I would say. Oh uh, wow! It, it, started it, getting it worse was and six worse. that it really went off the rails. Six That's got really awful with the sand snakes and everything, and then seven was just an abomination. Was so that the guys, sand snake one? Where I'm it was sure. just like, who are these characters, and why are they taking up time on the screen? You guys just take. <laughs> Your takes are different from everybody. So some people, some people said it went downhill the last <laughs> season. Some people said it went downhill the second season, the second to last season. I've never heard season five, but okay. I mean, again, this is kind of one of those things that they they were right in the show from the very beginning. Now, yes, you're right. They didn't have a book to adapt, but they made a lot of good television. <laughs> and also, they, by they, the way, just so, you know, just so you know, it was a huge success, the biggest success HBO's ever seen. Uh, the very the very last season. That was I the know, most we, we were ever. we were well, the, oh we watched it. We yeah, yeah, no. It, it, we didn't like I feel it. like you can't create it success yet because you know, like heck, the pandemic came and we all watched The Wire and The Sopranos and stuff like that. Zero people on Earth are rewatching Game of Thrones. That show has no appeal. People hate it. Season eight and seven, I'd argue, were so bad. The first six seasons got worse. That slow burn to wait for what the White Walkers brought. That the thing we were all so invested in. These big wars. What Jamie was going to do. It sucks now that you know. Now, it's it sucks. The whole White Walker thing. You know, how they were going to possibly deal with that situation. It's gone. It's gone. Things we thought were good were made bad once we learned how it I ends. Yeah, I hear you, yeah, I I, I hear, but what you're saying is, is all subjective. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it is. It's all, it's all, just, it's all just our it's takes all, on it. It's all, it's and, all opinion based. Yeah, because I, I loved it. Um, I'll, I'll I think it went I, down in episode one. I didn't watch any of that show because it sucks. The whole thing oh, is you stupid. missed a lot what of are you, medieval times. You're in zombies in space. Fucking choose one or the other. You got sandworms now. What is this Beetlejuice? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the news like a man. I'm gonna watch Jim Cramer's Mad you. Money like a man. You girls can go watch your dumb dragon show and your hot bitch that won't take her clothes off. Fuck HBO and fuck all right, you. All right, all right. Just uh, hold on. This whole shit about women not taking their clothes off <laughs> proves you didn't watch the show. <laughs> I'm right, I didn't. Because like, there's some naked wieners. bitches in this show for sure. I watched two seconds of that show and I saw two guys' cocks on the screen at one time. I said, "Oh, great! This is, thanks, uh, thanks. My sister showed it to me. Thanks a lot." 
It's like now, a great were you show upset you're watching because here. they were uncircumcised or because they were cocks? <laughs> they were very <laughs> circumcised. So what the hell is this shit? <laughs> if you're gonna show me some cocks, make them huge. Don't show me this little, <laughs> this little average size flaccid cock shit. Give me a big dong back there so I can say, "Whoa, what was that? Did somebody get? Did that thing have a license plate?" Wow. I agree, I agree Dick. I completely agree. I want to see the the biggest dicks in, in, like in the world on television. If I'm walking yeah. around with absurd prosthetics on for dicks and joy, <laughs> and then I'll just start shouting, "Don't th- that will hurt you? That would hurt you." A lot of women say eight inches is too big. Now, if you're getting any kind of ideas, they say it hurts. You can't even get the whole thing inside. Uh, is it just I'll send me? You is some it links. weird that all these characters are black? What <laughs> funny casting choices? There was. What do you uh, mean? That's where you no... find big dicks, Dick. <laughs> Cancelled. Search for I, Big I, Dick I, on Pornhub and tell me if you notice any patterns. I, I can't <laughs> say how much. My wife the is door shutting closes my door. behind Woody. <laughs> yeah, no. His wife is like, "All right, enough of that." <laughs> the door closed. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah, his wife comes right on that key. <laughs> As of, as of now, like I don't even rank Game of Thrones in one of my favorite shows ever. Not even close. And if you would have asked me that season, season four, season five, halfway through, I would have been like, oh, this is one of the, the tippity top. But like, I didn't even watch Sopranos for the first time until this quarantine. And now, after having torn through all that, that shit blows Game of Thrones out of the water as a series. It's got a good oh, yeah. ending. It's got better characters. It's got better acting in a lot of ways. Like, it's just fucking better. And it's coherent. A lot of people hated the end of The Sopranos, too. But... I, I didn't really get that. Maybe it's because I knew what it was going in, but it seemed fantastic to me. Like it was clearly an allusion to the fact that, like, he, Tony's dead. This is where he's getting nicked. Dead. Yeah, he's he's getting. Taylor, I can. Someone's gonna. I completely him. completely agree with you. By the way, I, I never thought the Game of Thrones was my favorite television. <laughs> like I was never like, oh my gosh, this is greater than than The Sopranos or The Wire. No, nah. I thought it was a good show, but I like I like I said early on, it was painfully slow. I and, thought it was literally the best show ever made. For oh, no. four or five years, yeah, I I, I, maybe not the best show I, I ever made. Like I, I'm such a big fan of The Wire, um, but but there were times when it got me so excited and like ready for the next episode. Or there were st- times where it finally there was so much build up before a payoff right. that that like like you know, you know, years would go by with like Ramsey torturing and raping, and then yeah. when he yeah, finally yeah. gets his comeuppance, you're just like, yeah, that was great. awesome. Yeah. That was so awesome. You know, there there were lots of moments like that where people got their comeuppance, and I really liked that. You know, that when they cut Jamie's hand off, it's like, oh, yeah, oh no, yeah, yeah. and and we were all like, he's gonna get really good with his left. No, because this is, th- there may be dragons, but this isn't complete fantasy. The man's it's no good life. with his left. <laughs> it's real life, yeah. No, I, I mean, like again, I like the show, but it wasn't. Uh, I saw the last two seasons, two and a half, to be the payoff to the first five. Um, because the first five seasons are again painfully slow. Go back and watch them. I, I really, honestly, that there are eight episodes per season that are pretty much straight dialogue and slow dialogue. Good dialogue, but very slow. Yeah, there, there's so- something to be said for that. I, I do remember sometimes I would complain, even when it was new and I loved it. Like, man, I could tell you what happened in this Game of Thrones in 90 seconds, and if I could summarize yeah. an hour-long show in 90 seconds, not a lot happened. Yeah. No, and so just to be clear. I didn't ever think this was like my favorite television. Show. I'm not going to defend it till the fucking end or whatever. It was just more of I have the op- I have the opposite take from everybody else, and I I know I I expect to get jumped on. I expect to get jumped. On. Well, that's because you're, you're, you're a okay. We're we're <laughs> digging each other all the time. I, I wanted to ask though because I, I I don't follow it closely, but I do follow.